our real problem in india is not political it is social this is a condition not only prevailing in india but among all the nations in the world therefore political freedom does not give us freedom when our mind is not free such were the words of tagore on nationalism in india good evening everyone now india may not be the cleanest safest brightest nor the strongest nation in the world here it shows potential that far exceeds the best today 75 years into independence we despite being an emerging superpower are not yet free from poverty hunger corruption and discrimination on the basis of caste religion place of birth sex etc sound familiar these are the same grounds on which our constitution prohibits the state from discrimination the largest democracy with a constitution spanning over 448 articles in 25 parts 12 schedules with five appendices and 102 amendments do you think such an exhaustive document would be enough to guarantee freedom and well-being of all of its citizens but in practice does it guarantee the freedom of all of its citizens islamophobia is so rampant in india that a mere factor such as religion has led indian muslims to face systematic discrimination prejudice and violence despite constitutional protections as mentioned in the preamble can we really say that india is secular when a whole community faces discrimination based on their religion in areas including employment and encounters barriers to achieving political power and access to healthcare and basic services on the subject of casteism we have studies from 2014 to 2016 stating that more than one fifth of the dalits reported facing caste discrimination in delhi itself a school is like a second home that provides a safe space to a child but according to the same study schools are a common place of discrimination the reports of discrimination range from 10% to 25% across geographies and groups moreover self reporting tends to underestimate cases of caste discrimination because the respondents may not feel comfortable revealing instances of discrimination in the matter of women there is barely any safe space provided women are subjected to violence oppression in their own homes with the prevalence of gender discrimination and societal norms and practices girls become exposed to child marriage teenage pregnancy child domestic work etc we have so much statistical data to prove that the most marginalized groups in india like muslims scs sts and women do not receive the same privileges provided by our constitution do we not count them when we say we are independent what does independence mean to us when we do not include the right more than a legislative is an executive to the operative and society problem therefore we cannot be fully independent by excluding and oppressing significant parts of our society as mahatma gandhi said no culture can live if it attempts to be exclusive now i would like to conclude my speech with an excerpt of my, of the former president to the mukherjee's address to the nation on 14 august 2015 a democracy is creative because it is plural but diversity must be nourished with tolerance and patience western interests chip away at social harmony in an attempt to erode many centuries of secularism in an age of instant communication through ever from through ever improving technology we must remain vigilant to ensure that the devious designs of a few never overcome the essential oneness of our people for both government and people the rule of law is sacrosanct but society is also protected by something greater than law humanity Mahatma Gandhi said and I quote you must not lose faith in humanity humanity is an ocean if a few drops in the ocean are dirty does not mean the ocean becomes dirty i unquote thank you